And welcome back. It's time for this week's Capital Report with Pat McGuigan of CapitalBeatOK.com. Pat, uh, quite a week in Oklahoma with the president's uh, visit and all the discussion that, that accompanied that. First, let's talk about his stop in Indian country, including Durant. Yeah, it was, that was an interesting speech, and it came just shortly after the White House had a conference uh, for young people, Native American young people, uh, a thousand tribal youth gathered in the nation's capital. I think the purpose there is to kind of look past the challenges and even corruption in Indian governments uh, to the future and uh, lift up people that will uh, take the folks forward. He, of course, focused on the promise zone, and he also... <laughs> Uh, focused on uh, digital divide. The digital divide discussion is very interesting because of course now it's being described as a necessity and not a luxury. My concern is for Native American children and all American children uh, categories of people who can't read and write. The, the internet is a tool just like writing implements were in a previous generation. I think the necessity is reading and writing and you know a decent education. Uh, but the president, I salute him for coming to Oklahoma, for visiting Indian country. I wish he had had the time to visit with some tribal members at the Cheyenne and Arapaho uh, region right around uh, El Reno. I think I understand why he probably didn't um, have plans to do that, or maybe it was preempted by mm -hmm. the, the tragedy back east. But if he had, uh, it would have been a good prelude to returning uh, lands that belong to the people. Now, I have to say, the Bureau of Indian Affairs has never recognized the current government of the Cheyenne and Arapaho, and that's probably a wise decision right. because there's so many problems. They're divided into at least five factions, and the last election was a bit of a charade. Um, so, in any case, I wish he had taken that step. I think he wants to, and I hope he does someday. Well, speaking of El Reno, uh, let's, let's talk about his comments out there at the Federal Correctional Facility and Governor Fallon's response. Yeah, I really uh, commend the president for talking about the issues of over-incarceration um, and uh, the attendant problems to that. A lot of people who are nonviolent criminals uh, who are in our facilities, the problems probably are worse in uh, state and local facilities around the country. Uh, than they are in the federal prison, prison system per se, but the issues are still there. I appreciated a lot of what he said. His approach seems to be bipartisan on this, and mm -hmm. that gives me hope. Governor Fallon is talking about smart on crime initiatives, kind of evolving away from, but maybe back towards uh, justice reinvestment initiative. Uh, I salute her. Um, Culture is made up of building stones, like he talked about that rock the girl stood on in order to get good reception. And until we have some kind of a great awakening in our culture as a whole across all lines, I'm afraid we won't be able to fix these problems. We don't have a lot of time, but just quickly, thoughts on the Iran nuclear deal. A lot of criticism from actually from both sides on this. Yeah, a is lot this better than the first agreement they talked about? No, it's worse. Um, a lot of Democrats agree with that position, and I'll be surprised if they vote for it in the end. It leaves Iran as a threshold state in terms of nuclear weapons, and we'll come back to that, I have no doubt. Okay. All right. Well, you can read more about these and other topics at CapitalBeatOK.com. For Pat McGuigan, I'm Alex Cameron. Have a great day.